Noticeable has been the smoke once again. Last uh, 24 to 48 hours or so, we've seen a gradual uptick in that haze produced by the smoke from the Canadian wildfires. Not quite as thick as we've seen in the past, but enough to at least have some modest effects on air quality, especially as you go farther to the north. Graphically, we'll be able to show that hopefully tonight at 5 and 6. The thickest of the smoke right now is over southeastern and south central Wisconsin. That is where we have some somewhat significant air quality concerns. But our concerns here are relatively low, and we do anticipate that as we move forward through tonight, and even more so through tomorrow, we should see some rather substantial improvements in that department. Now, it did restrict temperatures just a little bit. That smoke serves as a fill the sunshine can't come straight down uh, to ground level here. Uh, some of that sunlight is undoubtedly absorbed by that smoke. And so temperatures reached the middle 80s earlier on. It was thought maybe we would head into the upper 80s to near 90. That said, it is noticeably more muggy out there as the dew points again have surged into the lower middle 60s, even the upper 60s down toward DeKalb. And I anticipate that those numbers will continue to climb over the course of the week. That will be especially as a southerly wind begins to become established and becomes a, more of a factor as we move forward. All model forecasts do suggest a substantial uptick in humidity, maybe not so much tomorrow, but really as we go into Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, perhaps even taking us into Saturday. So that three day spell is where it is going to be intensely hot and increasingly humid as well. So that hot air dome that we've been talking about for several days, if not weeks, that has really wreaked havoc across the southwest is now on the move and will become established uh, for the middle to end portion of the week. Now we're going to sit kind of right on the northern fringe of that hot air dome. And so there are going to be numerous clusters of storms that will develop and fire along that periphery. That could mean things could be a little active at times here. But that said, it does not spell any all day washouts by any stretch of the imagination. The heat is going to be the big story. If we were to get some storms, that would actually help temper the heat just a little bit. Next storm tracker quiet here for the time being. I am watching some storms off to the northwest. These will likely go by the boards here as we uh, step through the evening time. Maybe a few clouds around areas of smoke low 64 degrees. Bright sunshine with us here tomorrow. There you see the southerly wind becoming more well establish. Then as we go into Wednesday, a couple rounds of showers and storms as the warm front lifts northward. There is at least some concern that Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday night, some of those storms could produce some large hail gusty winds and yes, tornadoes would even be in play as well. So tomorrow, the only day of the next four without the first alert. We've got a first alert for the possibility of some active storms and the heat and humidity on Wednesday. Thursday and Friday, the first alert is out more for the combination of the dangerous heat and humidity. Air temperatures had reached 98, but heat index values, what it feels like out there, Anna Marie, could reach as high as 105. Ooh, holy cow, prepare for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Sure. Coming up in today's talkers, animals are getting the spa treatment in Arizona as zookeepers try to keep them cool in these scorching temperatures. Plus, a California woman falls victim to a bear jacking and she catches it all on video.